I'm late to the party, I know, but I finally made it. Today's shave is going to be dedicated to gentlemen's nod. Hi there everyone, André, the Brazilian shaver, aka Barba Tradicional. And today's shave, I'm going to be using some new products. I know it's on the market for years and years, but I hadn't tried yet. So today's going to be the day. I got the Johnny, I got the Collab Zaharov, the Signature Noir. And also, it's not a shaving soap, but it's a rather utility bar from Jackie. And I mean, the smell of the three of them is it's amazing. It's really, really good. Today, I'm going to use Johnny. And to pair up with the shave, also for the first time, the Yaki Duo SSP, which is in stainless steel, polished stainless steel. It's not an adjustable, but in either side, you get a different type of shave. So you got like an open comb in one side and a closed comb in the other one. So it will give you two different experiences in shaving. So one being more aggressive than the other. And the cable, the handle is uh, the bullet one, also in standard polished and steel. Very nice indeed. The blade I'm gonna use is Lord Platinum, made in Egypt. It's going to be my second use. I always keep track like uh, with a mark of pencil or a pen on blade. I'll be using a 22 millimeter synthetic Yaki brush. And to finish off, Dovu Aftershave uh, Berlin Barber, actually made by Ariana Evans. Absolutely amazing aftershave. I'm still deciding which aftershave I'm getting for uh, Gentleman's Knot. So today's shave is going to be the Berlin Barber. So I'm really excited for today's shave. I always see in shaves of the day all around the world, uh, people using Gentleman's Knot or even using their apparel, the t-shirts and you know uh, stickers and, and, and a pin. And I know how well regarded it is in the shaving community. So I'm really looking forward and excited to trying this today. As well as this razor, I'm intrigued. And let's see how it uh, compares either side. Maybe it could be a good option if you are looking for one razor and one side could be good uh, for you or not, or eventually different parts of your, uh, of your face. So let's take a look at those. So I'm going to head out and shave and afterwards I'll give my considerations. I'm happy with my leather. I loaded a lot my brush, that uh, so I've added a lot of lots and lots of water. I could be, I think I could be working more and more my leather, but uh, I think it's uh, good to go. Let's see how it goes. I'm just wetting my my razor under the sink and gonna start with my first pass. I think I'm gonna be using the open comb side on my right side of my face and the closed comb on my um, left side of my face. So let's start with the open comb. So first pass done, actually they felt very similar, of course uh, with the open comb a little bit more of a blade feel, but I would say both uh, sides are maybe equally aggressive, um, the open comb a tiny little bit more because, well, because of the blade exposure and actually got me a little bit here, but in terms of what it took, it took a lot in either side and yeah, I mean also, this uh, close comb, very efficient. It's not, uh, I wouldn't say like mild, mild, it's medium. 
but but the way you, I would say the way that I like it, I felt a little bit of a blade, which I like, but also very um, effective. But not uh, I didn't feel any discomfort at all. The soap as well, really good gliding and uh, creamy leather, very good and protective. The, the fragrance actually stands out when you load the brush as, as opposed to when smelling directly from the tub. Really good. I'm really, really impressed with the soap as well. Let's go for the second pass, still going with the open comb at this side of my, my face. Very good. This this soap is really slick, protects a lot, and very good leather. So, uh, just a quick recap. Today's shave was star of the party, Johnny, uh, Gemma's Knot. Very, very nice soap. I really liked it. I mean, the, the scent is amazing and the, the performance, the leather was really good. The ingredients, um, the, ingredient list, the ingredient list of this soap is amazing. So I really like this uh, formula. It's the, it's the Cardinal Base. Very nice. I know there are a couple of other formulas that uh, you can find also in Gemma's Not site. So this Cardinal Base is really good. It's a tallow base as well. Very nice. Um, so amazing, amazing soap. I'm late to the party, but I'm glad I made it. Um, I know now I understand why people um, use all the time be the um, Gemma's Not line, so to say, but also the Zarahoff uh, collaboration, which also smells amazing. That's also the Cardinal Base. So now I understand why um, I see every other shave, uh, the shaves of the day and the pictures of why people use it. And really good. And the scents are also all amazing. So I, I understand now why Chris also offers the EDTs, the perfumes. They are that good. The scents are that good. I would definitely uh, wear them as a perfume, not only as, as shaving uh, gear and all that. It's really, really good. So gentlemen's not. Thank you, Chris, again. Thank you, thank you very much. Great, great shave, great leather. Um, moving forward, the razor, also the Yaki Duo SSP. Very nice razor. I liked the heft. I like the handle. I usually, I'm more of a shorter handle guy. So this one, this one is, was, was okay. Still, it's like, not too long, but uh, heavy, which I like, um, and well-balanced. I really liked it. I like this idea of having uh, the two heads as with a different, well, it's not adjustments, but uh, with the different characteristics. I did feel the open comb a little bit more uh, aggressive or efficient. Um, I think you can also feel like each uh, teeth uh, of that comb uh, on your skin. 
slightly more effective or more aggressive than the close comb, although the close comb is very efficient and but comfortable, like it's not mild. I mean, it's it's medium. I mean, it's not effective. It's not. Uh, I didn't feel any discomfort at all. It's actually quite as I like. I like a little bit of a blade feel. I like it effective, um, but not like too, you know, um, too much of a blade or too much of a gap or exposure that actually starts to be like uncomfortable. So, I mean, I really like the balanced. Um, so I really like it exactly how I like it. I would put it that way. I would see myself using the close comb uh, more. Uh, but I think it's a it's a good idea if you actually want to have like it's a two razors in one. So if you want to have um, you're in doubt which uh, you like or if you want something slightly more efficient uh, than the other, and actually you can use just one razor by one hand and and that's it. And even eventually in different parts of your your uh, your face or head if you're shaving, um, you can go different parts with different uh, sides, which uh, can be can come quite quite handy as well. So very nice. I like this razor very much. I like the finish. I like the you know the polish. It's stainless steel, so will uh, last for a very long time. And today's blade was Lord Platinum. Very good blade. I it's not my favorite. It's not a, like my top tier, but it's it's definitely at the higher end of my of my list. I think I can get away with any razor, with any shave, I could, I mean, I could get away with it. I like it, it's affordable, easy to find in any, I mean, online or even uh, physical stores, uh, you can get that, so it's it's quite, um, it's quite good. I think it's a good cost benefit, it's, I mean, it's not, it's cheap, it's it's not super expensive and it's a, it's a good blade. So also the Lord was good. The Yaki 22mm uh, brush, also synthetic, which I, I tend to prefer. All, most of my, my brushes are synthetic and very good. I like the size for my for my face, for my type of shaving. I think the 22mm is actually quite uh, quite nice. Sometimes if I get like a 24, 26, 28, maybe it's, sometimes it's too much. It depends on the brush, it can display um, way too much for, my, for the area that I'm shaving. And finishing off with the Dovo Berlin Barber, amazing uh, one as well. Um, I like to use it as a pair with my my Dovo uh, soap as well. But also Ariana and Evans. I mean, uh, needless to say as well, great brand. And this scent is also very good. I think I think it paired nicely with the uh, with Johnny. This um, this barber shop has a little bit more like a sandalwood um, vanilla. This one is apple citrus. I mean. This one is more like apple, citrusy and, and woody, but I mean, it paired nicely and uh, good quality uh, aftershave as well. I'm definitely getting um, a matching aftershave. I don't know, it's still to, to which, if to Zarahoff or to Johnny or even to, to Jackie, the utility bar. So I'm still considering which splash um, or balm I might be getting, which by the way, I think it could help me decide on the comments. Let me know which one you have, which one you like splash or bomb uh, from German's Knot and also the scent. Let me know what you like uh, better. So that was it for today's shave. Also leave in the comments which kind of uh, videos you would like to see, what kind of uh, topics or razors, soaps and products I should use. Help me uh, putting this, this content, help me putting more and more videos and I'll see you next time. Thank you.